What's up everybody? I think we actually froze Jen out last night because um she's ready to go back to the Phoenix area. <laughs> You're ready to go back to Phoenix, so <laughs> must have got too cold. So it dropped down to like 23, I think. Yeah, it was like freezing actually. We woke up and like there was ice on everything and it, it was pretty bad. Sean and I both have zero degree sleeping bags and then on top of that Sean has a heater inside of his tent. Jen just has like blankets and pillows and so she was probably freezing last night. So she's ready to head back to Phoenix. Sean and I both actually intend to go to Phoenix here in the near future. I think Sean's biggest holdup has been uh, probably me of all things honestly. And then for me on the other hand, my biggest hold up is um, the fact that the Jeep keeps falling apart. I even keep waking up with new repairs that need done. And so I need to get a lot of stuff done on the Jeep before I go anywhere farther. Even now especially because I woke up and found out I have a gallon of gas just dripping out of my fuel tank. It is very, very obviously <laughs> dripping pretty bad. I gotta figure out what that situation is before I go anywhere. Sean's welds on the Jeep haven't held up as good as we were both hoping. I guess I'm just have way too much weight on the back of the tire carrier. The welds are breaking again. There's a couple other things, but in the next couple of days, if we can get that all bolted out, we're gonna head to Phoenix too. It's getting a little cold here. So I wanna be in Phoenix and get out of the cold stuff. And the last time we were on vacation in Phoenix with my family, it was actually when I first got the Jeep and I was dying to go to the Grand Canyon. I wanted to see it so bad and we didn't go. So this time I'm gonna go see it. She said that there is nowhere to see the Grand Canyon in Phoenix? No. No, cause it's way far. My whole it's life like, is a lie. Um, really Phoenix, high. Phoenix has got to be like two, three hours away from the Grand Canyon. More than that. You it think? isn't there. Because yeah, it takes. Here's two hours. How long is it from? Like, oh, my hair is. Yeah, that's disgusting. Phoenix. <laughs> my whole life is a lie. Okay, so forget that. There is no Grand Canyon in Phoenix, but there's still a lot of cool things to do. I think maybe is there a lot of cool things to do in Phoenix? It's a city. There's a city in Phoenix. That's cool. You can go shopping if you have a lot of money. There's a Wilson's Leather there. I bought stuff there. I still have something I bought there, actually. The graveyard, when they had all the fires. Are you recording me? Yeah. All the um, fires? Yeah, where they had the fires from earlier this year. So we're going to go like see the a dead. Whole bunch of, it's a whole bunch of, like, because um, I used to take this, um, I used to take this road to Vegas, like, a long time ago, because my hometown is, like, not that far away so one side and it's crazy like one side of the road it's like all like live joshua tree like untouched and then on the other side it's just like dead joshua trees you know any place where they film horror movies that we need to go see yeah so we're gonna go explore so. creepy stuff there's a lot of creepy places to go to jen knows all the creepy places <laughs> <laughs> That's like my next adventure is gonna be like going to like haunted places. <laughs> I guess Jen's gonna be heading out here tonight, going back to Phoenix. And so we decided, since I took a year to pack up anyway, that it was already lunchtime. Figured we'd get some in and out before you leave. And you both you both grew up in the West Coast, right? Yeah. So like they they are all over. They know exactly what it is. I have 
I haven't been here since, uh, like, I was a kid. Do you drink Cactus Cooler? Yeah, that's the best. Yeah, that's a West Coast thing, too. The best I'll tell him about Cactus Cooler the other day. Yeah, oh, I gotta really? try it. I gotta try it. If I get in and out, I have to go all out. Animal style burger. Oh, on East Coast? Alright, so I didn't com completely prepare for this day the way I probably should have, so the camera died, but basically all that happened while you guys, uh, but basically all that happened was we went to In-N-Out to get a bite to eat, and then Jen, we all went our separate ways, Jen went to Prescott, Sean drove back to his parents' house, and I went to go buy a bar of metal. Reason being is my bumper is still kind of falling apart, so we don't want this thing breaking off. And so me and Sean looked at it, decided that we were gonna get a piece of metal, get that welded on there. Only cost six, six bucks, so at the end of the day, it worked out really good. Sean's over there right now trying to get everything cleaned off so we can get this metal bracket um, welded on. Hopefully it'll turn out really good. Something interesting that happened um, before all this, I was getting some really cool drone shots and while we were driving down the road, the drone just kept flying off and then eventually it lost signal. I was having trouble like steering on these curvy roads and also just flying the drone. So I was all over the place and the drone lost signal. I didn't know where it was. And so I pulled over to get the drone back, figured it was enough video for that time. And after I pulled over, I had Kai's window rolled down so he could get some fresh air while I was driving down the road. And usually he's really good about staying in the Jeep for the most part. Um, I usually roll the window up before I leave anywhere because he probably would jump out. But most of the time I don't have to worry about it. But there was some deer just sitting right next to us and I didn't even see them. Just, Kai was just staring those deer down and then next thing you know he was gone. He just jumped right out the window, took off. I mean he, he was gone immediately. The deer took off and we had no idea where he went. We were actually on a, camping on kind of a mountain down in Prescott and so we had to go kind of hitchhiking looking for him. I started hiking up the mountain and I saw wild boars like the pigs just all over the place. Probably five or six of them just everywhere. When I was calling for Kai, they all kind of scattered and I didn't have any weapons on me. I didn't even have a pocket knife. So after that I started reaching around trying to find like a club or something in case I needed to defend myself or maybe de defend Kai. Everything I picked up was a dead branch, hollowed out, didn't weigh anything. So I ended up grabbing a rock and just kept on looking for Kai. Sean was right behind me, also calling for him. Got halfway up the mountain and sure enough, uh, Sean heard Kai just kind of brushling around. Just kind of, I don't know what he was doing, but he heard us calling him. He walked over to Sean and then Sean called for me. I do know that after I got him back, he kept coughing and hacking like he had something in the back of his throat. So I don't know if he got a good bite of like deer tail or maybe he bit its leg. I have no idea what happened. <laughs> So I guess sometime around like last year or so, Sean, kind of in the same place I was, he really wanted a dirt bike. Got this deal on one for four hundred dollars. It's a nineteen, I think seventy, I think it's a nineteen seventy four Kawasaki, and uh, I love old school dirt bikes, like the old school scramblers and stuff. That's exactly what I want. And so I saw this back here, asked him about it. He said it was his. Said I could have it for four hundred bucks. And if I had four hundred dollars, I'd probably have it right now. <laughs> it's like.
tripping, Sean? <laughs> so you guys remember in I think your last video because I just watched it when uh, Sean's Jeep Sean was saying that I was sitting in Sean's Jeep and getting a ride from him the tables have turned they have turned big time. The difference is that Sean still has a second seat in his, and I'm over here just hoping the police don't see us. I'm on the cot. Kai's in the back. <laughs> Maybe they'll think that he's just like, what, seven foot four? Yeah, with my knees up and my neck. <laughs> up in the Look at this. This guy's getting this fixed, man. Look how bad that looks. What looks bad? Oh, the glass. Oops. So let me explain something here. We're legally driving in a Jeep without a seat, no seat belt, with a cracked windshield, obstruction of view, and uh, yeah, if we get pulled over, we're going we're to the done. we're going to the slammer. Yeah, we're. Just... I think Kai's the only innocent innocent one here. We forced Kai to come with us. He didn't want me to sit here. He wanted to have it for himself. <laughs> Go play, go find Kai. Go play with Kai. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing an unboxing because uh, I have some presents to unwrap from my birthday, which is awesome. So this one, I know what this one is. This right here, I had a couple amazing Patreon supporters actually. These people already give me way too many things and they wanted to give me something for my birthday. I used some of that money just to help, you know, on the road with gas and repairs, different things like that. But I had a little left over, and so I worked out a deal, got it all figured out, and usually I would not have enough money for an upgrade like this, but because of their birthday, because they gave me money for my birthday, I figured, you know what, I'm gonna use that money to get something that's really gonna help me out, so check this out. I'm pretty excited about this. Where'd Kai go? Go find Kai. He's probably barking out those horses. Yeah, go find Kai. Uh, a Jackery power bank. This is the um, model or wattage, I don't know, 240, pretty sweet. It's one of their lower end ones. They have much bigger ones, but it was on sale $100 off for Cyber Monday. Can't beat that, so I got a pretty good deal on it. I'm going to be using this to primarily run my fridge off of, different things like that. I think it's gonna be pretty great for doing all those things. I'm a lot more excited about this package though because I have no idea what's inside of this. This is actually a gift from my sister. It was supposed to be here tomorrow, so I was going to have to come back here for tomorrow. But luckily, um, we got it figured out today, which means I don't have to worry about it waiting on it anymore. I could just open it up now, actually. So, Oh, sick, actually. This is awesome. I thought I heard a bolt in there. There's no bullets in there, Brody. A new steering stabilizer. This is sick, awesome. Thank you so much, Kenzie. I'm actually gonna put this on probably like right now. Or if I get a socket. I have to pull my socket set out. Super cool, gonna bolt that on. Gonna get this, so I got all these Jeep parts. I also have all this trash. Puppies, I come give loves now. Hi, Kai. Oh, you don't wanna play with me? Okay, fine, I didn't wanna play with you either. Keep going now. So, got this cactus cooler. Is, did you say this is a Arizona thing? Like is it a West Coast thing? No, Sean said that this is the best soda. I've never had it before, but I also got a good combination. I got Takis. Pizza. And pizza. Yeah, so Sean's parents went camping or something, and so they need him to watch Cora, their dog, and just keep an eye on her. And so I was like, we have an oven. I want to make um, pizza. So I, I have Red Baron pizza in the oven right now because I wanted to try it. And so we're just kind of chilling out here in his parents' house. And I'm gonna try this cactus cooler stuff. Oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. This might become a new favorite. That's actually really good. Now, before I go, before I end this video, I have to say a couple thank yous to a couple amazing people who have re recently helped support this journey. So, so Dave, just, just says Dave. Dave, thank you for becoming a Patreon pledge. I had one other person who recently became a Patreon pledge, but they asked me not to give them a shout out. I just want to say they know who they are and thank you so much for becoming a Patreon pledge. 
Now, I did not mention this earlier for whatever reason. I just, we were just talking about it when this happened, but Andrew with Blue Jeep Life also at one point gave me a PayPal support and that was super awesome of him. This was before he got in the accident. In case you guys don't know, Blue Jeep Life recently was in a car accident and he has, he does not have plans to continue his journey, but he still helped support mine and I just wanted to give him a shout out for that. Best of luck to him. Um, I hope to meet him someday anyway. Maybe we can go surfing or something. I don't know. Um, hope he's doing well and that's pretty much all. I'll see you guys later. Ooh.